Well, when you watch a fight played back like that, are you watching yourself primarily, or are you watching the other guy to see what slipped past you? You know, like a lot of times, I hate to be, you know, into the fight too much because it, being a fighter, number one, you have the instincts of watching it. And yeah. You start doing all that kind of stuff, you know, you feel kind of crazy. Oh, <laughs> if anybody's yeah. watching you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. But um, I envision it. Driving down the beltway, down the highway, and I think about Duran. My wife sitting there, I start punching her. <laughs> but I. He must be fun to sleep with. Yeah. I, I have nightmares. I really do. I, I read that in Sports Illustrated. Tell me one of your nightmares. Lie back and just tell me your dreams. I, well, one particular night, I, I, uh, I just jumped up because I saw a hand coming through the wall, reaching for my wife. You know, and I start hitting it with a pillow, my wife. <laughs> yeah, because I try to protect her. And then I thought about the, all my money she spent on credit cards and blowing, buying all kinds of gifts for everyone. So I stopped hitting. Uh huh. And I wanted the hand to grab her. <laughs> because. Uh, you were now pulling for the hand. Yes. Uh huh. I was going to get her. <laughs> No wonder this poor woman has yeah. fainted uh, a couple of times. She, she fainted during the fight. Now, she did. Was that true or was that publicity? No, she, uh, she really fainted. I think she's never seen me in, in a particular fight where that I've been hit and hurt and was pretty much trying to make a comeback. Yeah. And I think the excitement, I think the intensity of the fight and the people and the public, I mean, it really got to her. And, uh, he had kinda, you had never lost a fight at never. that point. No, I haven't. I kind of felt like faint myself. I mean, that fight, he hit me hard. I, I won't forget that. Uh, and that's another thing. The, the ringside announcer kept saying, I don't see how any human being can take these punches that both of you were delivering, by the yeah. way. But uh, I, I don't either. Is you there like any way you can make one of us understand wow. how hard you're hit? Uh, OK, just now you envision this. OK, now you sitting in a dentist's office, and all of a sudden he starts that drill. Uh -huh. The feeling that comes over you, you know, you saying no. The same way. I see the right hand, I said, no, but it's too late. <laughs> Boom. But then, it's a, when it hits, like, your legs react. I mean, it goes uh -huh. there, your legs start doing this. You can feel it all yeah, the way down. Yeah, but the main thing, you shouldn't panic. See, a lot of fighters get hit and they're hurt. Psychologically, they panic and they lose control, they lose compulsion, and boom, yeah. it's all over. But what I did, my legs did, it did like this. Yeah. And I caught myself. I was conscious. I knew what had happened. I knew he hit me hard. So I covered up and I tried to let him punch himself out. And I looked to see if he's still there. <laughs> I covered back up and by then my head was clear, so I came back. What would you have done if he hadn't been there when you were <laughs> I, I really don't know. You never actually dream the fight, though, huh? You never, you never have a nightmare of the fight itself. Is it always something like a hand coming through a wall? Or yeah, a, I don't. You know? dream about the fight, you know. Um, and I made a couple pennies, so I'm pretty pleased, but I still yeah. want the title back, you know. There will be a rematch. I'm looking forward to a rematch. See, Duran's talking now. He said he wants to emulate Henry Armstrong, who was a former welterweight champion, uh, junior middleweight champion, and mm -hmm. middleweight. He wants to follow that same line. He wants to move it to junior middle, which is 154, you know. But I can move up. I eat a couple pancakes. I'm there, too. I really don't understand that about weight. It's, uh, it's unfair in a way. I mean, the world's greatest ballet dancer doesn't lose any points if he's not as heavy or as tall as somebody else. Or, you know, it uh, doesn't have to be the tallest or the biggest or the heaviest in any other sport or any other art or anything. But it, it's conceivable that the world's greatest fighter could be a welterweight much better than the man who's the heavyweight champion, but he loses points if he isn't the heavyweight champion. That isn't... Well, I tell you, I feel so good that um, the Olympic exposure that I receive has helped me in, in as much as bringing the same a amazement, excitement, the same anticipation to the non-heavyweights. Because yeah. the heavyweights always dominated the boxing world. Sure. But now the little guys are doing a job, and it's much more excitement than we're still showing that boxing is an art because say, people say, hey, man, it's brutality. It's not brutality if the safety, you know, the referee, if he makes sure there's safety at mm -hmm. all times. I think boxing as a whole is scientific techniques display, you know, moving around. But the fight with Duran, that was more of a gladiator and who can beat who. It was yeah. like a street fight, a brawl, like they want to say it. It looked to me like the, the uh, ring referee had trouble getting you two apart more than once. Yeah. 
I don't think he tried at all. He could have did if he really wanted to. I wish he had. Well, he had a repu he has a reputation for separating people. Yes, and he did. but uh, I don't know. Maybe just a different fight altogether. But they're gonna show the fight again. I think there's some come up this week. On yes, Saturday. I think by the time this is on, the viewers will have had a chance to see the fight. Isn't that right? It's been seen only on closed circuit so far. Yeah, and I, was, uh, I was there. Yeah, you really yeah. were. I wanted to, I wanted a ring size seat, but I was a little bit too close that time. <laughs> <laughs> I was too close. You can really ring. Do you feel pain at the moment you're hit, or do you just feel shock? It's, it's quick. Mm -hmm. You know, the blow is delivered, and you just feel the reaction of it. Yeah. You don't feel the pain uh, until maybe two days later. Mm -hmm. You know, the next morning I wake up, uh, I was aware that I had lost the title, and I. I went downstairs and my brother said, put some sunshades on because I had like a slight swelling. Yeah. I said, no, I said, uh, I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna look the way I left the ring. And I went downstairs and I had a, a four or five pancakes and uh, I didn't feel bad. But then as I got home, then I start hurting here and here, all mm -hmm. back here, my shoulders, my, my hands didn't bother me. Normally I had, you know, my hands just be fragile. Yeah. And I had knots on the back of my head. That's why it grew my hair long. I had knots to, to cover oh, your knots? Oh, yeah. Wow. All on the back of my head. He loosened one of my, my tooth. Yeah, I wonder what your dentist bill is yeah. for pre yeah. We just like that. Can you <laughs> we see each other quite often. Which one is you in that uh, well, I like it. Uh, well um <laughs> that, that made me think of something. I've, oh do you urinate blood after a fight? I've always heard that. When you take a tremendous amount of blows to your body, normally that's the reaction. But yeah. see what happened. After that fight, I lost about eight pounds. I went in 147, I left about 139, 140. Yeah. And all I had to drink was grape juice. I kept drinking grape juice. So when I went to the bathroom, I said, oh my god. <laughs> I looked. I said, nah. So I said, can't be. So, grape juice will do that? Yeah. So then it, I waited again. And I went back. All right. It was okay. <laughs> it was okay. It's okay. Like everybody else. Well, but it scared me. It really do me a favor. Me. Drink white grape juice. I know. I think I've it. There is such a thing. <laughs>